Devious Ones, welcome back to the channel for another WWE 2K24 video. Today, I'm going to go more extensively on exactly how to do the face swapping tutorial, how to get your face in the game in five minutes from your phone. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it on a phone and how to get it onto any console. As in my previous video, I had so many comments asking if you can do it on a phone how you can put it on PlayStation or Xbox or anything else. Everybody assumed it was for some reason just on PC. So I wanted to make a video clarifying all that for you guys and showing you how easy it is to do it from your phone, only on your phone, and get it into the game. So we are going to do that right now. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, but first, I must remind everybody to subscribe to the channel as I'm giving away three copies of WWE 2K24 on March the 31st, if we're able to hit 2,000 subscribers by March the 31st. So make sure you're subbed to the channel, leave a like, share this video with your friends, all that fun stuff, but let's get into it. So this is my previous video giving you the suggestion. All links to all the websites I'm using here will be linked in the description, so do not worry there. But we are going to just cover right here. We're gonna go into exactly what it is I told you to do in this one. And we're going to follow step by step. But all I did was go and search. And I don't know if WWE has their own face images that are in the game available just to download as a template. But all I did was type in face texture WWE 2K PNG. I went to the images and I just used this Adam Cole right here. Clicked on the Adam Cole, saved the image, and we were off to the races. So once mm -hmm. I've saved this image... I went to a face a free face swapper program and it is called faceswap.ai slash swapper. So I put in the photo of Adam Cole. So you pick that, you pick the image you want, like with whatever you save as the thing. Okay. Then you pick So let's do that right now. So first of all, I'm gonna take a selfie with my phone. I'll do that for you guys right now so you can see. So let's take a quick selfie. and get a face on perfect so there we go we got a selfie we just took it now as you can see right now that's the photo I'm gonna use for this video so that you guys can see so now I'm gonna go on my phone do exactly what I said in the video again links to the face swapping app will be in the description but as you can see right here, I'm at facewapper.ai slash swapper. Here's the website, as you can see, doing it on my phone right here. Uh, we can follow along in the video once again, as I already have that Adam Cole image saved that I showed you for the face texture PNG. Um, that you can just search into Google, pick, you don't have to pick the Adam Cole face, pick something that matches your skin tone, or maybe one that doesn't have a beard if you don't have a beard, however you want to do it. There's tons out there. There's tons of default um, options out there for you to pick. But this Face Swapper app, I don't know if you can really see it here. Um, yeah, it's hard to see on my phone. But you get like six credits per day, it looks like. So you can test this out like six times per day for free. This app is, or this website is completely free. Um, for me, I only needed the one try. I did it again for the stream. But we will follow along in the video so you can see step by step. you want to use, which is what I just used a picture of myself. And then you get six free face swaps. So I'll show you right here on my phone. There's a little picture of Wonder Woman here on the uh, on the right side. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to select my image of Adam Cole here. So let me do that. I want to go to my library. Oh, do I have to go down to find it? I'm going to have to go down to find it. Because I can't sort through galleries. So one moment, chat. My apologies. Okay, I found the picture of Adam Cole. Select that. So I don't know if you can see just in that little corner there. I've selected the Adam Cole. So there you go. There's the Adam Cole face I'm using on the right-hand side, as you can see there. Now I'm going to add the selfie photo that I just took. So we've got that. Um, perfect. So it's got my 
little selfie that I just took. It's confirming that this is, um, we detected faces and you can choose one of them. I said confirm. So there we go. It's got my face. It's got the Adam Cole face. It's kind of blurred out there on the right side. But you can just trust that it's there. We'll go back to the video and follow along. Swaps per day. So I've done this twice now. This is the second time. And then when you do the face swapper, it'll put your face over the Adam Cole. As we've seen, I'll just pre, can I pre? So again, we're going to go back here. We're going to look at, as you can see, Adam Cole's face is right there. My face is what I'm going to face swap in there. So I'm going to hit swap face now and it's doing its thing. And it's taking its time. It's processing. And we're going to see here in a second. It should get us our face swap in the game. Or face swap, at least on this texture here. So it's processing. I don't know how long it normally takes. Might be my internet's a little slow on my Wi-Fi or something. But it generally shouldn't take too, too long. Let's just take a look here. Still processing. We'll listen to this while it's processing. I'll show you guys once it's processed. Preview this. Anyways, you can see the you can see the Adam Cole image right there. So it just swaps the face over it. This makes it easier to put you in game. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna open a paint program, whatever you're gonna wanna use, and you're just gonna resize the image to the proper dimensions. Resize it to 512. I think the, the default image was 1099 or something by 1099. So this, I just resized it to the 512 by 512 um, that 2K wants from you. Um, as you can see here, the face photos are 512 by 512. So I just resized to that and then all from you, um, as you can see. So this, while well, it's processing still, I'm going to enlarge this for you guys so you can see. No, <clears throat> not that screen. Why does OBS have to be difficult with me? Not that screen. There we go. Hey, it finished the face swap. Okay, cool. So now it's got my face over where the Adam Cole was. There you go, you can kind of see that there. So now my face is like that. So um, how do I download that again? I don't need to compare, I wanna, okay. So on the phone, as you can see, there's two little tabs here. So the one on the left here, the one on the right, it looks like a magnifier. The one on the left here is gonna be download. So I'm gonna download that to my phone. So it's downloaded the file now. So now I have this on my phone, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the 2K website, the uploader. Um, so here, I'll show you on a desktop as well, um, just because I can do it on my phone, but it's going to be hard for you to see. I guess I can't do it on the desktop because it's not going to have my thing. But here, I will show you again. Sorry, we're going through the phone trying to show everybody for their tablets and their phones. So once you go to WWE. Um, or www2k.com slash your uploader. I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. Um, but it's going to prompt you here for the system of choice you're going to want to use. So you have to make sure wherever you want to be downloading this um, into your game, you're logging into the correct network. So if you want it on Xbox One, you can see you got to go Xbox One. Xbox S Series X or S, you got to click on that one. PS4, click on PS4. PS5, PS5. Steam, click on Steam. So whatever platform you're doing, make sure this is what you're doing. Because this was, I think, the number one problem people were having when they were asking my comments in the last video, not being able to get it onto their console of choice. So make sure you're logging into the proper network when you're on the 2K site. Um, so for me, it's going to be Xbox Series X and S to show you that we can do this on console, as I've already done it on the PC in the prior video. So now it's asking me, to, it's signing into the 2K on the Xbox side. So just wait for that. Now that it's logged me in on the 2K side, it now gives me the image uploader prompts. So what I'm gonna wanna go to, and now I'm not doing any editing whatsoever here. This is without any editing not even fixing it to 512 by 512 or anything. We're just gonna do it raw off the phone to see how it's gonna turn out for you guys as it does for me. So right here, as you can, I'm gonna try and make it as clear as possible in the camera there. The face photo right there, that's what we're clicking on. You see all these options under the images? We're going to face photo, not custom portrait, face photo 512 by 512, that purple guy. 
that's what I'm clicking on. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to upload from my camera, recorder, files? I'm going to go with files. Obviously, it's the thing I most recently downloaded. So I'm going to put that in. So images, not screenshots, download. There we go. We've picked the image I just downloaded, as you can see. So you're going to get a preview. You're going to get a preview there on the top left. You have to click upload now for it to upload. Once you've picked your console of choice, you're going to want to upload it. Okay. So I'm going to hit upload now. And then it's going to ask you to agree and submit. So agree and submit to the 2K terms, all that fun. And then it should upload. Once it's uploaded, it should show up in your uploads. If it's uploaded successfully, it should show up right there. As you can see, the face photo right there is under my uploads. I didn't change the textures. I didn't change to the dimensions to 512 by 512. Hopefully that doesn't screw me up. I did when I was on PC on the phone. I just did it as it is. Face photo looks like it's uploaded. So now we're going to go over onto the Xbox and we're going to test it out. So let's get to Elgato. We will crush the camera. And so as you can see, I'm on my Xbox here. Press any button. Let's just shrink me down here. I guess I can do it this way. Do I have the Elgato sound? No, I don't. Because I don't want that crushing me with copyrights. Really don't want that crushing me with copyrights. Perfect. Oh, I have old save data. Sorry, let's get to the Elgato. Display capture, crush that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to update our save data here because apparently there's been an update since the last time I played this on Xbox. But we, are, as you can see, are on the Series X. Oh, I, of course, they always try and force you into my faction. I mistakenly pressed A. <laughs> That's my fault. Sorry, chat. So we got to get out of my faction here. Oh, good. It forces you to start my faction. There's no way to press B out of it. So thank you, 2K, for that. I appreciate that. I now have to force close my game to get away from my faction. So fantastic. Off to a great start so far, I know. Um, but... It's what happens when we're doing it live, chat. I'm showing you how to do it on your phone. So, press A as many times as I can to skip through this and hope that the audio of the game isn't coming through so it's not crippling the stream. B to close to get away from my faction. That was my mistake. Oh, don't want to do that. I want to move myself over here. All right, so we're going over to creations, online. Okay, now we're on online. We want to go to community creations. Click on that bad boy. Go to the image manager. Now, what should be coming up is you want to see incoming. If you did this correctly and then uploaded to your console of choice, right there, the number one thing, the first thing is my face photo. So I will click A on that. It's now downloaded the content. Bow, bow, bow. So once this finishes, so that should be downloaded now. It's got the little uh, downloaded it logo. Perfect. Perfect. We'll go back. Oh, I did not mean to get right out of the game, so we're going to have to skip my faction again. Love that they try and force you into my faction every time you log in. Makes me want to play it less than ever every time they do that. Um, so go into create a superstar. We're going to go new custom superstar just to show you how quick and easy it is. Once it's in the game, you just go over, I went to a default template, you can pick whatever you want, none of this really matters. All that matters is we're going to face. Now you wanna pick a face template that is similar to your features. So for me, I want something with like, you know, a nose similar to this, you know, and you know, lips, facial structure, something somewhat similar uh, to my own. So I go, f oh, sorry, I want you to see it. I go to the face textures, and the one I settled on, I believe, was this guy right here. Similar-ish nose, lips, similar position. Good enough for me, close enough. Just find something that lines up closely for you. You can fully edit the face texture, structure, placement, everything after. This is just showing you the very basic. So I think, is it face texture? No. It's face, 
face photo capture frame. Yes. So first tab, it's going to show you the 2K defaults. I don't know if these are available for download. I didn't see them when I typed in WW2K face textures. I got that's how I got the Adam Cole. But if you can find these or 2K makes these assets available to download, you can use these as a base as well. It doesn't matter what you use. I just used Adam Cole for a better skin tone, more similar to mine than when I just tried using the face. So now we can see at the bottom right here. Bottom right is my newest photo that I just downloaded into the game. We're going to click on that, press A on that. The one in the top left here is because I already downloaded my character and all the other custom faces here are from other characters I've already downloaded. And so as you can see, this one is from my already created character. That's why the eyes are removed. The ones we just downloaded, bottom right for me, I'm going to press A on it. And there you go. There's my face, boom, right in the game. And now it's just a matter, you just have to line it up, right? So I'm not going to spend hours lining this up and everything. As you can see, the, the eyes are a little bit off. That's why I remove the eyes. Um, but you get a general idea here. You can kind of move it. See if I put the eyes here. The eyebrows aren't quite in the right spot. This is why I had issues with the eyes. Because that's close. We would just have to move the eyebrows. Mouth. So that's pretty good. Like, you know, I just have to move the eyebrows a little bit. Press A. You're good. And then you just go and then you can alter... I think the size of the face so you can kind of bring it up or down and try and line it up that way but again for me it was just easier removing the eyes altogether you see how you can still kind of see them in the background there so for me if you're looking to remove the eyes what I've been told for and sorry let's move me out of the way here anyways it would be great if when I click on something in OBS it actually moved it not something else but as you can see, it's not perfect. So you do have to do some tweaking um, with everything here. But that gives you the base idea. Face is now in the game. What you want to do from here is once you've set on your face and you've kind of lined things up properly there, you can mess with the facial structure. I'm not doing that right now. I don't need to change the position. This is just the base tutorial here. And then you go to the skin color pickup. And then for your skin tone, literally just pick anything on... Like you can pick anywhere and then you'll see if you go something too dark or something, see how much the face, you know, how much the face stands out here. So you literally just want to go with a color where the face kind of blends in to the rest of the skin tone, right? So you just look on, kind of look on both sides and whatever doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, like I would say something like that. You know what I mean? Now the face doesn't stick out like a sore thumb and just kind of go with that skin tone. You know what I mean? There's a bunch you can pick and you can get away with. Maybe pick something from the nose for a little darker or go here for a little bit lighter. You see what I'm saying? And then you just pick something that kind of blends everything together to your liking, right? So you can pick whatever, but that's, it's as simple as that. And then wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You're all done. See that skin tone? Not perfect. That one stands out a little bit. Maybe I want a little bit lighter, but again, you can mess around with this to your heart's content. And if you had too much lighting, like I did, you know, I've got a lot of lights on my face right now, which is why this isn't working to my heart's content. You can just retake the picture. You have six uploads per day um, that you can do, and um, it should work out for you. But again, for a, as far as a um, tool that you want to use to remove the eyes, you're going to want to use um, what I've been suggested as an app um, is apparently Snapchat has a eye removal feature that... Um, colors in the eyes properly or whatever so it actually just blends in with the skin does an amazing job that's what one commenter on the last my last video suggested to me so I said I'd pass that along to other people because I don't use a lot of face like I don't use a lot of my like phone apps for face editing and stuff like that but you can literally use any picture take out the eyes just color them in just to pick a face um, color picker or like a color picker from somewhere close to the eyes and then just kind of, kind of color them in with that you can do that if the um, Snapchat thing, and they do have that filter that just removes the eyes from you, even better, just use that, and then you're good to go, right? So, again, I hope this is helpful to all you guys. Let's take a look if there's anything I forgot from this video right here. Here, the um, photos are 512 by 512. But I'm pretty sure I covered everything, but we'll just take a quick peek so here. Just resize to that, and then so all this is just showing me taking out the eyes. Well, 
up into the uploading game, into the game. So we've done all that, done all this, gone through this. I've showed you how to do it on the phone. That's how it worked out here. Uh, and this is just me showing how we ended up looking up after I kind of actually worked on things. You just search and then the face swapper the tools, so how to find I'm the face sure, textures. I don't know if 2K offers the 2 kp I don't know if it's for me. Yeah, so I think I think I covered everything in the other video. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that this was clear to all of you guys, that you can do all of this from your phone. All of it can be done on your phone or your tablet or whatever. You can access the 2K website to upload your photos. I will leave a link in the description to this website. So you can go there, make sure you log in with your console of choice. Be it PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S or X, Steam, make sure you're logging into that so that when you go to community creations, you go to your images that you can find the image. Because if you upload it to the wrong community creations, like the wrong, if you log in through the wrong uh, console, it won't show up on the console you're looking for it on. Um, again, I will leave a link to the Face Swapper app, or not app, sorry, it's not an app, it's just a website. You can use it from any web browser. And it's completely free. You get six uploads per day that you can do the face swapping for. Um, so it's a completely free option. No subscriptions, no anything. This took me hours to find a site like this because I was looking for face swapper apps. That was the majority of the work I had to do trying to figure this out, how to do this on my own. Um, and that's what I discovered when I found this website. It was the most useful tool I found. Um, so leave that for you in the description as well. As well as I will leave a pinned link to the um adam cole face i used um but again i would just recommend i'm um, as i said in the beginning of the video and i'll go back to here for you just go to let's see if i can enlarge this for you guys just all i did to find face textures was typed in face texture wwe 2k png and there's a ton of faces you'll find they should have similar di dimensions like close enough to what you need i again just picked the adam cole you can pick something, anything that has a skin tone more similar to yours. The face swapping app should kind of blend in between them anyways. Um, but yeah, you can use any any texture that works for you. I don't know if Adam Cole having a beard and you not would make you have a beard in the picture if you face swapped it. I haven't tested that because I just have a beard. I picked someone who had a goatee. So that is the way I did it. But again... I will leave the link to the to the original person who made the Adam Cole as a thank you to them. I believe it was Haroof Time 97 on X, but I will leave a, a link to the direct tweet. Appreciations to him for having the face texture out there for me to use. Very much appreciated. Um, and there's a lot of great creators out there that I will be putting more of a spotlight on in future videos. Um, but for this one, I wanted to get this one out to all of you guys. This went a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it was really just because I wanted to make sure um, that I showed you start to finish exactly how you get your face into the game. So I hope this was helpful. Dubious ones, we don't forget to subscribe to the channel for your chance to win a copy of WWE 2K24 on March the 31st. We've got under 400 subs to go, should get there easily, but if we shoot up magically to like 3,000 subscribers, I will be upgrading those three copies to the 40 Years of WrestleMania uh, editions for the three lucky winners that I choose just randomly out of my sub count. Um, feel free, leave me a comment, let me know if this was helpful to you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Dubious ones, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope this was helpful to you guys. All the best, everybody. Take care. Peace.